discuss about a complementary pass transistor logic which consists of a complementary inputs and outputs which means that so this is a complementary pass transistor logic block then we will have inputs complementary inputs and we will get complementary outputs as well okay let's take the case of AND gate how we can implement an AND gate using complementary pass transistor logic so here we have uh, four NMOS transistors and the gate of these transistors are connected to B and B bar so when B is equal to logic 1 the output F is same as that of logic input A so that's why A is connected to this transistor and the output will be coming at F and when this B is equal to 0 the output function is also 0 so that's why uh, when B equal to 0 B bar will be logic 1 and at the time this B is 0 and this 0 will be transferred to the output that's how we realize this function F and for realizing F dash when B equal to logic 1 the output is the complement of A right so when B equal to 1 this complement of A is connected to this transistor and will be given as F bar and when this B is equal to 0 the output is always logic 1 which means when B equal to 0 B bar is logic 1 this stands will be 1 and this B bar which is 1 will be transferred to the output so now take the case of OR gate so in OR gate uh, the connections are exactly the same only this inputs will change so when b equal to logic 1 the output is also logic 1 so when b is connected the exactly same b will be connected to the uh, this transistor and when b equal to 0 the output is the reflection of a so a is counted as the input and for realizing the f bar when b equal to logic 1 output is 0 which means b bar and when uh, b equal to 0 output is the uh, inverse of logic a so a bar is connected to the real input this is how we realize an OR gate now take the case of XOR gate in which uh, when b equal to logic 1 the output is the inverse of a so that's why a bar is connected to this transistor and for b equal to 0 the output is exactly same as that of a so for b bar will become 1 and a is connected to this transistor so that's how we realize xor and for second function uh, f complement function when b equal to 1 b equal to logic 1 the output is same as that of a a is connected and for b equal to 0 the output is the inverse of a so a bar is connected to this that's how we realize a different case the advantage is uh, since we are getting uh, f and its complement function and its complement as output we don't need any extra inverters here so still this logic is static logic and another is design is modular modular means all these gates are having the same topology so only this inputs are changing so and uh, the XOR gate is very simple and the last one is it is fast so disadvantage is again additional routing because we are uh, having F and its complement output so we need more routing and still have definitely static participation problems are there and uh, same as that of fast transfer this also having a problem of uh, slowly degrading the signals so if we are, if we are using an NMOS transistor we will have weak ones for improving the output of a, com a complementary pass transistor logic a CMOS output stage is being implemented so this output F is connected to an CMOS inverter so that we will get an inverted output and also this uh, output voltage will be lifted so here also for f bar also we will have it is connected to an inverter CMOS inverter so that the output voltage value will be uh, increased thank you